Hi there, this is Andrea from Drea Rene Knits and I love tassels. So this is a fun little tutorial to show you how to make faded tassels um, for your what the fade shawl or really whenever you just need a faded tassel in your life. So for supplies, you're gonna need an assortment of yarn um, set into a little gradient or a fade. So I'm using the yarn from my what the fade. I'm using the leftovers. And then you're gonna need scissors, sharp scissors are best, and a piece of cardboard. Now, I found it easiest to use a thank you card, but you can totally just find a box and cut a length of cardboard and fold that in half. And then basically the length of your cardboard will be the approximate length of your tassel. And you just want to have at least um, the bottom open just to make it easier to get your scissors in there to cut your tassel after we wrap our yarn. So, I went ahead and just went in order. So I'm starting with my color A. And you just hold the tail down at the bottom of your cardboard, the cut side and just wrap it around. Now what I did to get an even distribution of yarn is I just counted how many times I wrapped. So I, let's say, for I think in the pattern I tell you to do 15. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get the gist. So wrap it around about 15 times. Then, you can go ahead and trim. I like to leave a little tail just because I like to have enough to work with to trim it up all nice at the end. And I find I prefer not to wrap too tightly around the cardboard. I kind of give myself some slack. Um, again, that's just so that I have plenty to work with because otherwise your yarn, if it's all tight, it'll bounce up and get shorter than maybe you intended. So doing it loosely, I think is kind of a good tip. Um, so now let's go ahead and wrap our second color and again you would wrap just the same amount of times as you did your first color and then you'd move on through colors C, B, D, E, and F. So I've done that here <laughs> on my little thank you card and so this is my fade. This is also a fun way to kind of see how your fade's going to look at the beginning of a project. And I think I even saw some people on the forums doing this. So you can kind of wrap your yarn around and it gives you a little idea of what your gradient will look like. And so now that I have it all wrapped, before I trim, I like to go ahead and tie the top together. I just chose one of my middle colors. So this is Poppy that I'm using, Hedgehog Fibers. And you wanna have enough length on here um, to attach it to your shawl. So again, I just always do a little extra because I feel like I'd rather have extra than not enough. And I just go ahead and thread that onto my tapestry needle. And you can just go ahead and thank you card's kind of nice because you can just feed it through the gap here, but it's just as easy to get it through the top of a piece of cardboard too. Um, but I just go ahead and insert it underneath. And you could cut first and then lay your threads out and find the middle and just tie the top of your tassel. It's really up to you. I won't even tie it at this point. I just like having my yarn in there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bottom. So my thank you card. So you just open up kind of like if you're making a pom-pom if you've ever made a pom-pom and you just trim I should say snip we're not really trimming yet <laughs> all the way across Oop, perfect and now I can take my card out so I already have them all pretty well lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this top. And then you're gonna go about an inch, half an inch to an inch down, and you're gonna give your tassel a little head. 
So I'll start by just tying the top here. And the way I like to do it to keep it snug is I do just a regular knot. And then you could even do two if you wanted. And then I follow it up by holding both strands together and doing one extra knot. I like to really secure my tassels. So then I would do one more like this. And I just stick my tapestry needle in here to get it really close to the base. Boop. Okay. So now we're going to need to cut one more extra length of yarn. And again, I like to do a decent amount of length for this part because I really like to be able to wrap my yarn around the head of my tassel a few times. So I don't know, maybe about a foot or two. Yeah, let's do, I'm going to say at least um, 24 inches. Oops, sorry guys. All right, it's not an exact science. <laughs> okay, so I lay that yarn out. Just like so. And then just go ahead and tie a knot with this yarn and once you're starting to kind of get it a little more snug it's easier to see where it's gonna land and then you can shimmy it to where you want it but I like a little bit you know I think that's about an inch half an inch yeah more of an inch and I might look at the back make sure it's not shimmying up too high over there kind of move it around there perfect and now what I like to do is tie a knot at the back as well to make sure it stays nice and tight. And then you can just wrap all your excess yarn around it. And I just think that helps it look a little more finished. There we go. So I'll take this tail and I just wrap it around. And once you're all done wrapping, you can actually just use a tapestry needle and insert the end of it into the head and pull it down through the middle and it's totally hidden. And at the end, you can just go through and trim off any long guys you see at the bottom so it's nice and even. And then you end up with a nice, pretty little faded tassel to add to your shawl. Fun, right? That's it, happy tasseling.